as we begin may I now request honorable dr justice vidyut ranjan sarangi judge high court of odisha and chairman odisha judicial academy and training committee to kindly deliver the welcome address my lord please my lord honorable justice sujakan your supreme court of india and our esteemed chief guest of this occasion respected our loving chief justice dr justice s mulidhar the chief justice of high court of odisha and the patent chief of the odisha judicial academy my esteemed brother and sister judges of high court of odisha brother justice debrat das justice viswanath rathha जस्टिस बीबू प्रसाद राउत रे डॉक्टर जस्टिस संजीव कुमार पानीग्राही जस्टिस बी नरसिंह एंड जस्टिस गौरी शंकर सतपथी हु हैव बीन टेकन द पेन इन गोइंग टू फाइव न्यूली एस्टैब्लिश्ड रीजनल एकेडमिक एंड जॉइंट विथ एस इन वर्चुअल मोड रिस्पेक्टेड फॉर्मर जजेस ऑफ दिस कोर्ट प्रेजेंट अमंगस्ट ऑस ऑफिसर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ उड़ीसा प्रेजेंट officers of the registry officers of the odisha judicial academy odisha state legal services authority and all the staff present district judges and judicial officers who have joined in the virtual mode representatives of the print and electronic media my dear students were present here taking so much of pain coming to see the function i welcome all of you and all of the distinguished guests present ladies and gentlemen jai jagannath very good morning to you all i am extremely delighted to be here to extend our you all a very warm and colorful welcome on behalf of the high court of odisha and the odisha judicial academy on this momentous occasion of inauguration of five newly established regional judicial academies at angul balashar ganjam at barampur korapur at jaipur and sambalpur on this special occasion it is indeed my proud privilege to welcome my lord honorable minister justice sujakan just supreme court of india to the state of odisha the holy land of lord jagannath to this millennium silver city of katak and to the odisha judicial academy while i am short of words to describe the personality of justice sujakan his lordship dedication to the cause of justice is well known to the nation at large we are very much indebted to his lordship that in spite of his busy and hectic schedule he has been kind enough to grace this function for accepting our invitation we are grateful to lordship now the seed for the present odisha judicial academy was planted on 30th march 2001 when odisha high court passed resolution to set up a judicial academy in the state for the purpose of continuous legal training of judicial officers however this academy actually started functioning from 20th december 2003 in the old building of the board of revenue where it continued till november 2012 the after the academy was shifted to the old chief justice bungalow at kila fort the present museum of justice on 10th august 2013 the academy got shifted to this building and since then it is functioning here from the date of its establishment the judicial academy is functioning relentlessly for training and capacity building of judicial officers of the state and the staff of district judiciary as well as other stakeholders of the justice delivery system besides conducting induction training of newly recruited judicial officers and refresher training of the officers the academy also conduct hands on training program for the judicial officers staff and advocates etc on use of ict functioning of paperless court bc hearing and conducting hearing at the vulnerable witness deposition center as the chairman 
chairman of the academy committee i feel proud to inform this august gathering that in the last 5 years alone more than 300 training programs have been conducted successfully by the odisha judicial academy for the various cadres of judicial officers and other stakeholders however with expansion of the state judiciary we are faced with new challenges as the officers and staff strength of the district judiciary has increased manifold while the strength of judicial officers has gone up to 100 uh, 1000 the staff strength of all these districts have crossed 4000 there is a need for training to uh, to uh, need for time to train all these officers and staffs which is no more feasible to be conducted in the academy due to several factors the southern districts of orissa are situated at a distance of about 700 kilometers and the distance of western districts is more than 300 kilometers from katak the officers and staff face much difficulties in covering such a long distance to attend training programs at odisha judicial academy katak this also causes huge loss of valuable judicial time because of the transit time required for to and fro journey of the judicial officers and staff in order to attend the training with the introduction of the information and communication technology into the functioning of district courts it has becomes incumbent to train the judicial officers court staffs technical staffs advocates and other stakeholders and this training is is at district level has to be practical hands on training instead of being theoretical in view of rapid technological development and its application in district judiciary there is necessity of frequent and effective training to all concerned which cannot be possibly central to be done at odisha judicial academy katak therefore taking all these factors into consideration our beloved chief justice justice dr s mulidhar conceived of the idea of establishing the five regional academy at five different zones of the state that is angul balashar ganjam at barampur koraput at jaipur and sambalpur his larsif vision is to impart effective and continuous training to the judicial officers and other stakeholders at the grassroots level without loss of valuable judicial working days saving unnecessary travel time and expenses therefore while i extend my hearty welcome to our patent chief honorable justice dr s mulidhar to this inaugural function on behalf of the odisha judicial academy i also extend my special thanks to his lordship for making this possible and i request for a big round of applause for our visionary chief justice i also heartily welcome my sister and brother judges and thank them for their selfless cooperation and support in overall institutional development i also express a deep gratitude and sense of my former judges of this court anul justice as naidu anul justice mm das anul justice jp das anul justice jagvit das anul justice dr gp choudhury anul justice vishwajit mahanti their presence have encouraged us like anything because we are reminded for past days that how they have grown us and where we are and what will be in future in judiciary we owe our deepest gratitude to this our past former judges who are present here because their presence itself encourages us to do something better for the next generation for the future sir we want that you should always remain present here and encourage us and to see that this how your judiciary progressing and your encouragement to definite an asset for us thank you for your presence and encouraging us i a warm welcome to our distinguished former judges present and uh and the and all members of the legal fraternity present here our devoted officers of registry and staff of the high court of uh, high court high court i can also say that the officers of registry ably led by 
Mr. Patra, the Register General, they have toiled hard to see that we have to reach such a situation to materialize the vision of Chief Justice. And they have not left anything behind it to repent in future also, saying that we are not done for the, anything for the institution. Rather, I welcome them with, help, with a large heart that their cooperation this is to, to this institution is beyond our comprehension. And I hope that you will also continue with such support all time to come, even if my Lord Chief Justice is not there or are, will be there. Because my, my Lord Chief Justice has set out a principles that principle has to roll so that at least in future also we can demand our Chief Justice and the endure of the Chief Justice will demand it by everybody. Thank you for your cooperation. I also welcome the uh, director in charge of Odisha Judicial Academy and your staff and officers of the OSLA and officers of the government members and print electronic media, those are present here. After all, the students, you are the future of the nation and your presence also encourages that you have to see the tomorrow how you are growing. That your presence also encourages like anything. Thank you for your kind presence. And I hope that you will have a great learning from this institution. When we come tomorrow, you realize whether such an institution is required for the development of judiciary in the state or not. I hope that you will all enjoy. And may Lord Jagannath bless you all. Jai Jai Hind, Bande Utkal Janani. Thank you, my Lord, for the warm and heartfelt welcome extended. May I now humbly request Dr. Justice S. Mullidhar, Honorable the Chief Justice, High Court of Odisha, and Patron in Chief, Odisha Judicial Academy, to kindly address the August gathering. My Lord, please. Pranam, Vande Utkalajan. A very warm good morning to everyone present here. Justice Suryakant, Judge Supreme Court of India. My dear colleagues, Justice Sarangi, Justice Biraja Satpati, my colleagues in the audience here, and my very dear colleagues who are present in the locations of these five new regional judicial academies, Justice Devabrata Dash in Berampur, Justice Vishwanath Ratha and Dr. Justice Panigrahi in Sambalpur, Justice Bibu Prasad Rautre in Baleshwar, Justice Narsing in Koraput at Jaipur, and Justice Gauri Shankar Satpati at Anugul. All the former judges present here, the district judges in the various locations, and all the other district judges in the other districts who, are, who have joined us in virtual mode, the judicial officers in all the districts, the lawyers and staff who are present in all the districts, the lawyers here present, the law students present here, the registry officials, the officers of the Judicial Academy and uh, the Legal Services Authority, and all else present here. It's a very, very happy occasion for us that we are opening these five regional judicial academies of the Odisha Judicial Academy today. I couldn't think of a better person to preside over this function than Justice Surya Kant. There are judges of whom you've heard who are very good in their judicial work, but very rarely do we come across judges who combine and are very good in both judicial work and administrative work. And Justice Surya Kant is like a shining example and he's like a role model for all of us to follow. I was in Punjab, uh, Haryana High Court for about nine months, and there was not a single day when I did not hear of the wonderful uh, efforts and initiatives taken by Justice Surya Kant in that High Court. So thank you, Justice Surya Kant, for being with us this morning. As Justice Sarangi was pointing out, this uh, coming to fruition of these five regional judicial academies 
was as a result of a lot of effort by not only the com judges comprising the committee of the judicial academy but by all and when i mean all not just the registry led so ably by my registrar general shri pratap patra but all the district judges who had to get ready these five locations i must thank all those five district judges of uh, ganjam sambalpur baleshwar koraput and anugul for taking up the challenge there was constraint of space but still like you will see in the video they have managed to create the perfect space for a judicial academy to have a large conference hall a resource person place a waiting hall so everything that you need for a functional judicial academy is already in place sessions are going to begin today at 2 pm we have the first training sessions in all these five uh, regional judicial academies in this high court we've been following one principle we don't simply inaugurate or start new initiatives we make sure that it's completely functionally uh, alive so i must also thank the state government for notifying these five regional judicial academies in good time without those notifications we could not have had the formal inauguration of these five regional judicial academies uh, our judicial officers and staff in these locations have also put in their best foot forward already to make these functional i must share with justice suryakant that uh, in about february or march in 2021 soon after it took over i in fact yesterday i was seeing those uh, older notebooks of mine i had put down what i called was short term plans and long term plans so in the long term plan i think the last but one plan was regional judicial academies so for me particularly personally i am very very satisfied that before the end of my term i have been able to open these five uh, uh, get these five regional judicial academies open the as just as sarangi was pointing out here what we are doing is not only focusing on training of judicial officers at nearest location possible for them because these are like five clusters sambalpur in the west ganjam in the south baleshwar in the north anugul which is in the central uh, part of uh, uh, odisha and koraput which is also the southern part they will be the uh, centers around which there will be clusters of districts so each of these centers will serve about seven or eight clusters of districts as you will uh, be seeing in the video that we are going to be playing so no judicial officer or staff will have to travel for maybe more than an hour maximum to reach the judicial academy and so there will be literally no loss of he was pointing out because we are rolling out a lot of ict initiatives like for one small example is voice to text there's always a shortage of stenos so we are encouraging the use of software where judicial officers can speak and that gets translated into text through a software but this requires training we are looking at paperless offices we already have started on the mission of paperless courts very soon in orissa all courts will be paperless and uh, this is by the end of this year literally every court in orissa will be paperless already judicial officers have been given laptops so we are also training the staff we want the officers to be paperless for staff to be able to handle i mean work in a paperless mode they need training so these judicial regional judicial academies will be the hubs where training will happen both of judicial officers and staff a third element which probably in orissa will take the lead is providing a space for lawyers we want lawyers to come in to these judicial, uh, judicial academies use that space maybe after court hours so that they can also prepare themselves for all these judicial services exams that we have at two levels at the ojs level and the senior the uh, osjs level so we are hoping that they too can utilize the space and come and join the judiciary and strengthen our hands so this is really the idea behind having five regional judicial academies it is a continuous learning process for all of us in law law students here should know that we are also students we continue remaining students and even the former judges will tell you how even after they have demitted office they continue learning it's one lifelong learning exercise and this judicial academy is therefore symbolize and signify that very important aspect of our engagement with law with these words uh, thank you for listening to me and thank you on this very happy occasion jai hind
Thank you, my lord, for your insightful words. It is his lordship pioneering guidance and indefatigable endeavor that have made possible these rapid strides in Odisha judiciary. Under his able stewardship, we are able to scale new heights. May I now request our chief guest, Honorable Sri Justice Surya Kam, Judge Supreme Court of India, to inaugurate the Regional Judicial Academy in virtual mode. May I also request all the honorable dignitaries on the dais to join his lordship. Thank you, my lord. May I now seek permission to screen a short video presentation on the regional judicial academies of Odisha. Welcome to Odisha Judicial Academy. A state judicial academy was conceived by the Honorable High Court of Orissa on 30th March 2001 with the vision to enhance the learning and training to be imparted to judicial officers in the state of Odisha. Accordingly, Odisha Judicial Academy came into existence on 20th December 2003 and started functioning at the old building of Board of Revenue Katak. After lapse of about 10 years, Odisha Judicial Academy got its own building on 10th August 2013. The Academy has been able to provide new dimensions in the training of judicial officers which earlier were unexplored. Now all judicial officers joining the judicial service undergo a planned and systematic training program which is oriented to their wholesome develop. It is incumbent to train them at their local places since it would not be befitting to call them each time to Katak for training. Accordingly, a proposal is moved by the Honorable Committee to decentralize the State Judicial Academy and establish five regional academies. Government of Odisha acceded to the proposal of the Honorable Committee and agreed to establish five regional judicial academies at Anugul, Baleshwar, Ganjam, at Brahmapur, Korapur, at Jaipur and Sambalpur. The Anugul Regional Judicial Academy will be the training center of the district of Anugul Deogar, Dhenkanal, Keonjhar. Likewise, Balasor Regional Judicial Academy will be the training hub for the districts of Baleshwar, Jajpur, Mayur Bhanj, and Bhadrak. Similarly, the districts of Koraput, Malkangiri, Nabarangpur, Kalahandi, and Raigada will be the cluster districts under the Regional Judicial Academy Koraput at Jaipur. The Regional Judicial Academy Ganjam at Brahmapur will be the training hub for the districts of Ganjam, Gajapati, Nayagar and Kandmala. In the western part of the state, Sambalpur, Regional Judicial Academy will be the local training center for the districts of Sambalpur, Bargar, Sonipur, Balangir, Bodh, Jharsuguda, Sundargarh, Nuapada. For the rest of the districts, that is Katta, Kendrapada, Puri, Khordha and Jagat Singhpur, Odisha Judicial Academy will be the local training center. Each of the regional judicial academies will be well equipped with one large training hall with smart solutions. The smart classes are well equipped to interact with the training participants from a remote location. Further, one in-charge chamber, one VIP resource person lounge and one office room for the staff are also there in each regional judicial academy. Regional Judicial Academy Sambalpur Regional Judicial Academy Baleshwar Regional Judicial Academy Koraput and Jaipur Regional Judicial Academy Ganjam and Brahmapur
रीजनल जुडिशियल अकेडमी अनुगुल Odisha Judicial Academy conducts the training program as per the training committee. Odisha Judicial Academy conducts different training programs for the different cadre of judicial officers such as early career, mid career and advanced career training program. In line of the Odisha Judicial Academy, the Regional Judicial Academy will also conduct training as per the approved training module of Odisha Judicial Academy and more specifically all the hands on training program such as hands training on high court of odisha video conferencing rule hands on training on paperless court and hands on training on vulnerable witness examination rules main now humbly request Honorable Sri Justice Surya Kant, Judge Judge Supreme Court of India, to to kindly deliver the the inaugural address to the August Assemblies. My Lord, please. Dr. Justice S. Murli Dhar, Honorable the Chief Justice, High Court of Odisha, and Patron Chief of Odisha Judicial Academy, Dr. Justice B. R. Sarangi, Chairperson Odisha Judicial Academy and Training Committee, Justice Gauri Shankar Satpati, Member of the Odisha Judicial Academy and Training Committee. My other brother and sister judges of the High Court of Odisha, who are present physically and on virtual mode. Honourable the former judges of the High Court, learned district judges, and other judicial officers who are present physically and on virtual mode. members of the ministerial staff officers of the state government our future members of the bar and bench dear law students ladies and gentlemen it's an honor and privilege for me to be here with you today on this momentous occasion of inauguration of the five newly established regional judicial academies at angul balasor berhampur koraput at jaipur and sambalpur we have just formally inaugurated i really congratulate honorable the chief justice and judges of the odisha high court the entire district judiciary state government and other stakeholders for this achievement i am extremely thankful i am personally very thankful and happy to be part of this celebration i openly quote dr abdul apj abdul kalam the renowned scientist and former president of india who held indian judiciary in a very high esteem and very aptly expressed his sentiment saying and i quote judiciary is the guardian of civilized life and that members of judiciary therefore become inviolable role models the perfect incorrupt incorruptible ideals of a civilized society it is this that we have to strive for attain and sustain and following this in true sense i believe that members of the indian judicial system are undoubtedly committed to this vision of the great men the trust and faith of the millions of people in our judicial system fortifies the dedication and commitment of indian judiciary adverting to the event of today 
we all know that judicial academies serve as a paramount institutions of imparting quality training and imbibing confidence among the judicial officers to handle successfully the complex court cases which are emerging every other day alongside the rise of our nation these institutions are vital for the development and important improvement of the legal system besides providing training at different stages whether at the time of induction or subsequently in in service training programs the judicial academies also conduct hands on training program on advancing technologies that is now being used extensively in our court rooms and speaking here in odisha when dr justice murlidhar has achieved so many commendable uh, landmarks in the terms of technological advancement i must congratulate all of you for the landmark record room digital center and i believe you also call virtual high courts it's a long struggle in establishing these institutions as dr sarangi and chief justice pointed out that somewhere you started in 2001 and 2003 you were able to establish the judicial academy but remember that it was law commission of india way back in 1986 in 117th report recommended the institution of pre service training for the new entrants into judicial services and also for establishment of regional training centers for training the in service judicial officers those recommendations were then implemented gradually and in phased manner on pan india basis how with the increased availability of resources and the manifold rise in the workload of district judiciary in last three decades it has become imperative that these centers now function on a intra state level and not that inter state level as was originally suggested the supreme court also on multiple occasions has echoed the need of establishment of these training centers and all of you know that in 1992 emphasizing on the implementations of law law commission recommendations the supreme court said that in service training for judicial officers is a must and is essential for the upkeep of efficiency in judicial services i personally feel that the most important role of judicial academies is to update the district judiciary about the nuances of new laws and ways to face the new challenges posed by commercial litigation especially and their timely adjudication to avoid any adverse impact on the business entities startups and the overall economy of the country i believe that these training programs become even more important when we contextualize the role played by the district judiciary in our judicial system as we openly say that code of criminal procedure is the poor man's constitution at the same time our trial courts and magistrates are often referred to as the first line of defense for the criminal justice system or for imparting justice to a victim of injustice therefore the trial judges have as much responsibility if not more in safeguarding the fundamental rights of the citizens of the country as the highest court of our land the importance of in service training to judicial officers therefore should be understood and appreciated in that context the wonderful initiative of the odisha high court and the odisha judicial academy to establish regional judicial academies to cater to the judicial officers and the staff in various session divisions is undoubtedly commendable these regional academies shall go a long way in curbing challenges such as which dr sarangi also pointed out and so as the chief justice the long distance between several districts and the odisha judicial academy at katak and the consequent loss of judicial mandates due to long travel we just saw on the video clip also that how the uh, there is lot of uh, deliberations and application of mind in choosing the places and so that the cluster of districts can be provided this kind of uh, the training program at door step it's something like that the vision has been implemented i am equally happy to see that as per the indian justice report of 2022 odisha i believe has a population of 56983 per trial judge 
which is fairly well in comparison to the other states. We all know that beside the judicial officers, each session division has sizable number of ministerial staff, and the regional centers will impart training to court staff to enhance their efficiency and provide quality assistance to the presiding officers. Hence, the regional training centers would serve as a boon for the functioning of the judicial system in Odisha. Other states may be facing similar challenges, and this initiative of Odisha Judicial Academy shall set an example for the rest of the country to follow. It's a virtually a decentralization of the academy also. And what is the importance of decentralization? I've tried to explain the decentralization may also improve the training outcomes as the regional judicial academy shall have more autonomy and flexibility to train the judicial officers and the staff in the region's customs and the needs of the communities there. Odisha being home to the third largest tribal population in India, it is essential that judicial officers and staff are sensitized to their cultural identities, customs, and laws. Famous for its vibrant culture, the state of Odisha is also endowed with a huge wealth of natural resources comprising mines and minerals. The regulated extraction of minerals is crucial to the growth of the, our nation. Business houses within and outside the country have high stakes in the state of Odisha. Lacks of organized and unorganized workers are also engaged in mining activities whose rights need to be protected. Equally important are the legitimate expectations of the local communities. The competing rights of all these stakeholders openly become subject matter of court proceedings. The sensitization of district judiciary in relation to all these issues, therefore, is extremely important. When I talk of sensitization, I feel that it's an important process of training designed to raise awareness and enhance understanding of social issues and perspectives that can impact judicial decision making. The aim is to help judges become more empathetic, impartial, and knowledgeable about the diverse experiences and backgrounds of the people they serve. It can cover a wide range of topics such as gender, race, disability, caste, religion, and socioeconomic status. Judges play a critical role in ensuring access to justice and upholding the rule of law. And hence, they need to be aware of their own biases and assumptions, as well as the potential for discrimination or unequal treatment to litigants who come from different backgrounds. This shall help in building trust in the judicial system by demonstrating a commitment to fairness and equality. The other aspect the, I would request Dr. Sarangi and his team led by Honorable Chief Justice is that mediation is a form of alternative dispute resolution, which is getting very popular in these days. The regional judicial academies must also train judicial officers for mediation between the contesting parties. We cannot afford that the common man loses faith in the judicial system on account of huge docket explosion. The old pendency creates even more pressure on the delivery of justice. This burden of caseload and the consequent pendency fetters the wheels of justice delivery system from making substantial progress. It is therefore essential that young judicial officers be trained in mediation exercises so that they are able to explore the amicable settlement at the threshold and see whether the settlement so reached is fair and just to the parties. Training judges in mediation will also enhance their communication, negotiation, and problem-solving skills, which can also benefit their work in other areas of court system. I myself is a strong votary of mediation and keep referring several cases to mediation to ensure that familial relationship and even business relationships between the litigating parties are repaired and maintained. And such cases often see amicable settlement saving precious time of the courts, as well as improving the relationship between the parties to reach a mutually satisfying and cost-effective settlement. It is my suggestion that the regional judicial academies should also collaborate with the district legal service authorities to organize camps for spreading awareness about the court system, mediation, and legal aid to the indigent and unprivileged members of the society. 
legal aid can significantly impact individuals and communities, helping ensure everyone has access to justice, protecting human rights, improving outcomes, reducing the burden of the justice system, and empowering individuals to take control of their legal issues in the most effective manner. Dr. Justice Murli very rightly pointed out that members of the bar are also very strong stakeholders in the system and providing training to them is equally important. When I talk of sensitization of the judicial officers, it is equally necessary that the quality assistance to be provided to our judicial officers by the members of the bar is also improved. And that too can be done by associating them in the training programs. Of course, essentially this responsibility lies on the Bar Council of India. And I believe that in Katak, they have told me that they are constructing an institute for providing in-house training to the members of the bar. But it is really a great initiative and a very innovative and progressive approach. If the Odisha Judicial Academy under the dynamic leadership of Honorable Chief Justice and Dr. Sarangi can initiate the training program for the members of the bar as well. I would like to conclude with a piece of advice to the young judicial officers and the future judicial officers who are sitting here. That what is the importance of training and what is the relevance of the training? And I need not to say more than that what the Supreme Court had way back in 1991 in all India judges case highlighted that what are the really crucial and important contents, components, and integrals of a judicial officer who is supposed to be a judge or to be wise enough to know that he is fallible and therefore every, every time ready to learn and the, be courageous enough to acknowledge his errors. The conduct of every judicial officer should be above reproach. He should be conscientious, studious, thorough, courteous, patient, punctual, just, impartial, fearless of public clamor, regardless of public praise, and indifferent to private, political, or partisan influences. He should administer justice according to law and deal with his appointment as a public trust. He should not allow other affairs or his private interest to interfere with the prompt and proper performance of his judicial duties. And that is what all these training programs are meant to imbibe these ingredients in our robust judicial system. I extend my good wishes to the judicial officers who shall be training here, the officers in charge of the regional judicial academies and the Odisha Judicial Academy, as well as Honorable Chief Justice for this landmark decentralization. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you, my lord, for the wonderful words of wisdom and encouragements. I am sure all of us must have been immensely benefited from the non parallel voice of erudition. As a token of our reverence and gratitude, we would now like to present a mentor to our esteemed chief guest. May I now request Dr. Justice S. Mullidhar, Honorable the Chief Justice, High Court of Odisha, and Patron in Chief, Odisha Judicial Academy to kindly present the Uttariya and memento to Honorable Sri Justice Surya Khan, Judge Supreme Court of India. Thank you, my Lord. Now, as we proceed towards the end of the inaugural function, May I request Honorable Sri Justice Biraja Prasanna Satpathi, Judge High Court of Odisha, to kindly propose the vote of thanks. My Lord, please. Good morning to all esteemed dignitaries present on the dais and of the dais. First of all, I am thankful to the Almighty for giving us this courage and spirit to arrange this glorified event. His blessings has turned this event to grand success. Thank you is such a prayer that cannot be seen or touched. It must be felt by heart. I feel honored and privileged to get the opportunity to propose a vote of thanks on this special occasion. 
I would like to thank Honorable Chief Justice Sudhya Kant, Judge Supreme Court of India, who in spite of his busy schedule, attended this function at our request. We are very much thankful to his lordships for his kind and benign presence before us in this August gathering. I would like to thank our beloved and cherished Honorable the Chief Justice, Dr. S. Muralidhar, for taking the lead in all the matters after his joining in this High Court. Because of his Lordship's leadership, Orissa Judiciary has reached a new height in all spheres. On my behalf and on behalf of my esteemed sister and brother judges, I would like to thank the Honorable Chief Justice. I would also like to thank Honorable Justice Justice B.R. Sarangi, Judge High Court of Orissa and Chairman Orissa Judicial Academy for his kind guidance in this important endeavor. I would also like to thank all the former judges who are present in this August gathering. I would also like to thank the state government for extending all possible help to achieve the goal in establishing five new regional acad judicial academies in different corners of the state. I would like to thank the entire registry who has taken all the pain in making this function a grand success. I also extend thanks to all the staff members of Odisha Judicial Academy for their enormous cooperation in organizing this event. Lastly, I would also thank to the members of the print and electronic media for covering this function. It has been a pleasure being with you. Thank you all. Joy Jagannath. Thank you, my lord. With this, we have come to the end of a magnificent program. May I now seek leave of the honorable chair to wind up the session. Thank you, my lord. The function is declared closed.